Hello and welcome to this drum lesson for One Step Closer by Linkin Park. Okay, um, great tune. I, I've actually, um, when I was a kid, I wasn't that into Linkin Park for some reason. Um, I was more of a grunger when I was growing up. Um, although I did like new metal, for some reason I was always like, thought Linkin Park were poppy, which they have a huge pop sensibility about them, which I now absolutely love. Um, they've, their songs are very well crafted and they're basically pop songs, but just with like screaming and riffs, um, which is great. Um, so yeah, I've kind of found recently got, got quite into them. So, um, yeah, straight into this, we've kind of got this, uh, the main kind of chorus pattern, open hat kind of thing. We're doing kicks on one and one hand, and then the second 16th note of two. And then that just repeats for the second half of the bar, so three, three and three hand, and the second 16th note of B. And that kind of kick pattern is basically all the way through the song. Um, that's in all the choruses. Sort of thing. So it's big in the chorus. In the verses, it's more closed, and we've got this extra little hi-hat bit. So it's, it's even that drum pattern, which is quite simple, it's just nicely crafted. Dun. after that extra kick on second, sixteenth, no, it'd be two and four. I tend to like, I don't know how he used to do it live, but I tend to want to bring my left hand. I always find when stuff like that, when there's kind of, there's a hi-hat pattern, because it's a little bit programmed, the drums on this. And it's like, if you're kind of, it, even though you're playing, if you were to do it with one hand, even it being a bit awkward, feels a bit awkward, but it also sort of has that feeling of like, you're kind of almost overlaying two hi-hat parts t -t 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 because your other hand is playing it. Sort of how it feels for me when I play it anyway. So a lot of things like that, I, I tend to bring my other hand to play it. But you could play it one-handed. Just doesn't feel as natural to me. Um, the other thing that happens in this song quite a bit is this: is these feels. So basically, starting on the snare, it's a really nice little fill as well. Yeah, it's like a rough. No, it's like a drag. But yeah, you're doing. The basically the, the the drag notes up here. Sixteenth notes here. Did a gap gap. With, with just a back bit in front of it. Uh, then the only other bit is like the kind of riff bit, another riff bit, <laughs> they're all riff bits, which is where you go onto the crash and it's like the, the backbeat changes to like three, but you're doing kicks on all of them. One and two and three and four and. So yeah, no, it's, it just goes half time, doesn't it? Dun, dun. One and two, one and two and three and four and. 
one, two. Or you can count it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's what kind of why it feels like it's on the three. Dude, but you're just doing kicks. Two and three and four and very simple. Um, and that's pretty much it. There, there's there's another bit where it's like the shouty shut up while I'm talking to you bit. Um, and we're keeping that same chorus pattern, but we just add some some floor toms at the end. Pretty, pretty, um, the light's just gone. Pretty self explanatory, a lot of that. Um, but yeah, go and give it a go. Thanks for watching.